course, I've got here with Alison Davis from Wild Time Cooking. How are you, my I'm friend? I'm always great. That's Thank good you. to hear. I love that we're doing some little snacks. Yeah. Some little nibbly bits, Again. as we call them. Yeah. Okay, talk to me a little bit about what we're making today, because well, it looks like you're baking something. Yes, baking something, and it's about meal prep. So oh. going into the day, especially if we're trying to hold on to those dear dreaded resolutions, um, we're trying to think of ways to stay healthy yep. um, and not just reach for the first thing that comes across or in the pantry. And, I know. You know, when you get those cravings. The vending machine at the uh, office, I'm telling you. It's all about planning oh. and prep. So these are something that can be made up in advance. They can be kept in your refrigerator. They can keep going for the week oh, and I, just be a good, easy grab and go like breakfast items. I have to say to you, Alison, and I know it's you mean well with your tips and tricks. <laughs> Okay, but oh, I'm scared. I have to say to you, on Sunday, the last thing I want to do is make a muffin. Well, these are so easy, <laughs> though. These are egg muffins, and these are buffalo chicken egg muffins. Oh. Yeah, remember you said something buffalo about chicken. buffalo? No, you uh, said buffalo wings. Yeah, and you were like, I thought it was buffalo made no, at one point. No, don't make me sound like Jessica <laughs> no, Simpson. I was telling you an example. But we're using I knew the buffalo were, sauce. I knew they were chicken. <laughs> we're using the buffalo sauce or wing okay. sauce or hot sauce with the chicken. And this is, again, so quick and easy to make that, honestly, I would think that you would be okay on a Sunday if you knew that you were going to have these to grab well, I, right out I, of the fridge. And I will say to you, I like the idea. I like the idea of little mini keys that I mm -hmm. could make and take mm -hmm. you know so I get it but just all the mums and dads at home are thinking about it's the last thing they want to bake on a Sunday I but mean this is so fast you can even do it Monday morning when perfect. you're getting ready all right okay give us a while do you okay. like how I just poo-pooed that whole idea <laughs> and I didn't mean it that way but it's like oh my gosh here we I go I get it I get it I'm right there with you I yeah. cook all week long I know the last I don't thing know how I want to do, do on a Sunday is yeah. cook but um, okay, so we are making these buffalo chicken egg muffins, and it is as simple as, okay, some cooked chicken. You yep. could get a rotisserie chicken, or you could um, get the cooked the, chicken the, yep. out of the can, but I prefer the rotisserie the chicken. There's some uh, chicken, like, that's already cooked that, yeah. In a can? There is, Oh, yeah. my goodness. I've never seen that. Yeah. Okay, this is what we have to do <laughs> on the show. We have to get... Canned chicken, canned pumpkin, frozen chicken, no, frozen no, 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 pumpkin, no. fresh pumpkin and fresh oh, and chicken, do, and do a taste test. Oh, well, and I see can if tell there you is right a difference. Now. I know there's a difference. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you sort of fill up the dish okay, about so I halfway. Fill up the, these are muffin lined muffin tins yep. uh, with a little liner in there. Yep. I just did some of uh, the rotisserie chicken and green onions, right? Yep. So super simple. And then in this bowl, I've added um, some eggs. You can do basically however many muffins you're making, um, one egg per m muffin, basically. Oh, so, one egg per muffin. Mm -hmm. I got you. Um, so one egg or however many eggs you're doing. And then I just seasoned it with salt, yep. pepper. Mm -hmm. I use a little bit of that. I like Frank's hot sauce or Tessame's wing sauce. They have a hot sauce as right. well that works really well. But it I'm gives glad it you weren't going to make me make my own no, sauce. No, no, no. It makes that <laughs> buffalo flavor. It's it's it's, it's easy. It's clean. It, the ingredient list is clean. Yep. Um, and then onion powder. And then the last little bit of kick, I like to use that chipotle chili powder. I've been obsessed with that over the last couple of months. Yeah. It just adds that smoky. I won't have you smell it, though. No, can you imagine? <laughs> Remember last week yeah. when I started sneezing in two of the segments? Yes. <gasps> I'm so, so the embarrassing. The chipotle I'm so chili sorry. pepper just gives it that little bit of smoke. And that's it. That's so pretty simple. It's very simple, I told you. And then we just take a little bit of that and pour it into each muffin. You cover the muffin completely? Yeah, yeah. just fill it to the top. Um, and then it's going to puff up a little bit from the egg, but that's it. Yeah. And how long do you bake that for? This goes about, I would say, 15 to 20 minutes at about 400 degrees. Can I just say I want to take back what I said? Because it was pretty simple. I mean, it's so <laughs> quick. And I was then thinking, you have, oh, and what then is you she have, making me make? No, and then you have these that you can take right out of the fridge, pop in the microwave, and you've got protein packed. Yeah. Healthy, clean. And one a day. Don't be eating yeah, five. Yeah, don't, don't eat the whole dozen. <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, right. and it's that easy. Okay. Well, of course, if you want to find this recipe and more, head over to wtvq.com forward slash Midday Kentucky. Mm. Do you, I love that you eat more of the food than I do when, well, you, when, you, when you're when like I, a true chef. Hey, um, th you should trust a, a chef and <laughs> exactly. one that eats their food. Exactly. <laughs> Thank you so much, Alison. Of course, we'll be right back after this short break.